Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the excess question number 18C of class 10 NCRT science textbook. The question is, why is the series arrangement not used for domestic circuit? So in our house circuits, that is the circuit with which the wires are connected in our house, it's not made up of series arrangement, rather it's made up of parallel arrangement. What is the reason? So let's find out. All right, so there are various reasons for not using the series arrangement in domestic circuits. Let's understand one by one. So the first one is if one appliance in the series connection stops working, the entire circuit breaks and all other appliances stop working. Now, if we have a look at the circuit in a series connection, so this is how various components are connected in a series circuit. Now, looking at this type of arrangement, we see that current has only one direction to pass. That is, it leaves through the positive terminal and enters the battery through the negative terminal. So since current has only one direction to flow, if there is a disruption or there is a damage in any one of the circuit components, then the current will fail to pass through the circuit and all other appliances that are connected in the circuit will stop working. So this is a drawback in a series circuit. The second one is all appliances are turned on and off using a single switch. So it's not possible to turn them on and off individually. So as you can see in this circuit, there is only one switch which is operating or which is controlling all these circuit elements. So now if I want to switch off any particular appliance, say this one, then it won't be possible to switch it off individually. So we cannot control the working of the individual appliances in the case of a series connection. The third one is different appliances in home requires different voltages. But in a series connection, all appliances work on a single voltage. As you can see, in the case of a series arrangement, all the appliances are working on the same supply voltage, that is this voltage. So in our house, different appliances requires different voltage. Like fridge will require a different amount of voltage. TV will work at a separate voltage. The washing machine needs to work at a separate voltage. But in the case of series arrangement, all appliances are working on a single voltage. So it is not possible to connect all of them in series. The fourth one is the equivalent resistance in a series connection becomes very high, which results in a very small amount of current flowing through the circuit. Now we know that in the case of a series circuit, the equivalent resistance is given by R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. That is the sum total of all the individual resistances. Now when all the individual resistances add up, the overall value increases. Now from Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to IR or V by I is equal to R. So the current varies inversely as the resistance. Now as the resistance becomes high, the current flowing in the circuit will be low. So a very small amount of current will flow through this circuit when all the resistors or when all the appliances are connected in series. So that is the reason we do not connect all of the appliances in series in domestic circuit. Rather, they are connected in parallel, which has a lot of advantages than the series connection. So I hope you have understood the solution to this question. If this video was helpful to you, please do like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.